made a bird tree for the little birds. Maybe the magpies will come along. Either way, someone will be happy. We had a new snowfall last night, so we're going to go out and see what awaits. Beautiful sky this morning. We had some amazing northern lights last night in the snowfall. Although it was cloudy, got a few beautiful shots. How a little bit of snow can make a forest look so dense. Another tree meets its fate with the weight of the snow and yet another tree claimed by nature. Such a beautiful blue sky today. A little rabbit, quite active, chewing on those little limbs last night. Frosty trees with a few remaining red rosebuds. A few new red willows standing brightly in the new snow. Anything with color makes a brilliant statement. Another active bunny trail. Let's see how far a bunny can leap farther than my ski pole. Another beautiful pond surrounded by the sounds of the chickadee. I believe your eyes. Another spider. Today is very easy snowshoeing, places you could never go yesterday, you can go today because of the rain and now the freezing. I'm going to sink down a couple of spots, and it's been pretty good. This runoff is high in clay and rust. We had a large runoff of rain the last week and you can see here where the water made its own path under the snow leaving ruts. Beautiful ice pattern along this bank from all the rain we had and now the freezing temperatures. You can see where a small cat has gone through. It's like a bobcat headed down to the river. Here's the opening where the bobcat came through. 
You can see here these large footprints in the snow made by a moose wandering from the river in search of food. Perhaps he was out when it was raining and all the willow trees were exposed more than they usually are. And here, another tree claimed by Winter's Fury. A giant spider. Rab I went through last night. We got one rabbit head down over this hill. You can see they'll slide down through anywhere. I actually come upon a canine that caught a mole last night. You can see the blood where it ran around, tried to escape, but it caught it. You can also see here where he marked his spot. Partridge came out from under that tree and Partridge wandered back here. Another fate of winter and a new spot to hang out. Let's go see. You can see where the moose walked around and laid down here apparently. Gone down through the bush. Look at all the bark on the dead tree. There's lots of salvage wood here. Lots of places to build a fire. And lots of salvage for fire. And lots of places to sit. So here is the unveiling of the new flint. I've never used a flint before. This is fun.
this. This has lots of spark, lots of Now there's a place you have to be careful of in the forest. You don't want to go near those windblown trees. Especially in the springtime when they spring back into the ground sometimes. If the tree were to break off. This tree is about 36 inches round. And it doesn't taper too much until up there where the top was broken off one time. You can really see how large the bracket fungus is on this poplar. It's thriving on this tree. There's some chalk over there. I think you're going to have to climb the tree for that. It's just wonderful to see some of these beautiful towering trees. And there's what you call a good old faithful dog. Either that, or she just likes the fire. As soon as it warms up, the snow begins to fall off the limbs. just like another snowfall. Just finishing up a five kilometer snowshoe for today.